Hi, um, uh, I just uh, thought I'd show you my uh, reflow oven. Um, it's a thermal cup. I've just had it on actually, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit warm. Uh, it's basically, basic thermal couple. Uh, nothing too fancy. I did make this uh, some months ago, and when I come to plug it in, it didn't work. Um, but that's probably because I use an adapter with it, which was about uh, 17 volts on on the end, and uh, I think I blew my chip up and um, and whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it it didn't work, so uh, I've just redone it, and um, I made a new circuit board because there was a spaghetti of wires in there before. Uh, so uh, I'll just made a new circuit board. I'll show you that um, uh, in the, in the next video. Um, so basically, it's just um, a 12 volt adapter. I have put a um, uh, a voltage regulator in there now, five, five volt voltage regulator to to run the hardware now, and um, and the display and the relay. So. Um, so uh, before there wasn't a voltage regulator and because I, I didn't use it for that long I, f I forgot what voltage I, I should run it at and I just plugged this 12 volt adapter in there which was like 17 volts and blew the blew the whole lot up so uh, anyway I've redone that so basically I'll just switch it on um, the program is, is what I've, I've wrote. I, I took a bit from here and a bit from there and, and made my own up. You know, I'm, I'm not a very good programmer, but uh, you know, I get by. Um, so I um, thought I'd give it a go. Anyway, it, it comes up pretty slowly. You know, um, so it gets to about 45 degrees. Uh, that's the light there that size the ovens on obviously there gets to about 45 degrees slowly obviously it'd be more slowly the longer I keep the door open but uh, <laughs> it's like watching paint dry uh, anyway it gets to 45 degrees uh, just to so it doesn't shock anything you know it just brings it up gradually to about 45 um, so it's 33 there. I hope you can see the display. I think you can, just about. Um, trying out my new camera as well. Uh, this is a this camera is a Canon EOS 200D. Uh, if you if you're wondering what camera I'm using, that's pretty good. Um, so as I say, it's uh, it's just pre warming at the minute. Um, Oh, there you are, like it's uh, so suddenly jumped to, uh, it suddenly said to itself, it's okay. Anyway, it's ramping 200 degrees now. Uh, how this works is, it, it's counting there, 16, 17, 18 seconds. I think when that gets to 90 seconds and the temperature is at 100 degrees, it'll go on to the next stage, but it won't go on to the next stage until that reaches 90 seconds and that reaches 100 degrees so if that's if that's 96 seconds and that's you know 85 it still won't switch over until both have reached either that one has reached 100 or that one has reached 90 um, so um, so it's 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 the oven switched off at the minute because it's uh, it's getting too hot obviously it's come back on again now so it tries to regulate it so so they both reach 100 degrees uh, at 90 seconds. So that reaches 100 degrees, and that's uh, and that reaches uh, 100 degrees on about 90 seconds. So it's 75 seconds there now, and it's got to 93. It's got to 100 degrees now, but the the time isn't 90 seconds. Now it is. Now it's going to the next stage. So it's ramping to 150 degrees now, um, and the temperature is 110 at the minute. So it just come up, but that it will probably go off in a minute because it's it's going to get too hot. I think about 60 seconds it takes to get to 150. 
Um, it's just building up basically the temperature. Um, it's 137 now. So I need to stay at around about 150 for about 60 seconds. Well, cr gradually get to 150. It's all right, half the time I don't know what I'm doing myself, so uh, just. Uh, Yeah, it's got 250 now, and and with, within 60 seconds, uh, so it's it's ramping now to the 220 degrees. Uh, it's 159 at the minute, so uh, but they both both will have to get to the correct time and the correct temperature for it for it to shut off. Uh, same as the other other ones, so uh, it's 175, 76. I mean, you know. It might not be the best way to do things, but uh, you know, at the time I did read quite a little bit uh, up on it, and uh, it's quite difficult to write a program to to suit, you know, to suit everything that you know, you, you want to do. Um, but I, I found this to be adequate, you know, um, does the job. I had no problems with it. It's getting to 2.20 now, it's 16, and it's got to the 60 seconds, so it's reflow is complete now. Um, I've, I've just put on there open door at 180. Uh, so basically, when it reaches 190 degrees, because let it cool down slowish, when it reaches 190, I'll, I'll just open the door. So, well, there's nothing in it now, so. Um, so I'll just uh, so it's 100, 100, 190 degrees there. So basically, when it reaches 190, I'll open the door a little bit. Um, then you've got a little block of wood that I'll, I'll, I'll put there just to open it about an inch, and then uh, I'll let it cool down to about 100 degrees, and. Um, Let it cool down to uh, about a hundred degrees. Obviously, obviously, these switches don't do anything because uh, they've been disconnected. Uh, so when, when it gets to about hundred degrees, which is round about now, I'll just take the part out and uh, job done. Uh, that's a reset button on there. That's on an off button, as I say. That's just a light to say that the uh, power pack's plugged in. Just turn it off there. That's just adapter lead. And then there's just a bit of Velcro there. I can just move that round there and uh, fold it back on itself. But um, the circuit board in there, I shall, um, I shall uh, on the next video, I'll, I'll open that up and uh, I'll show you uh, the circuit board I made, uh, the voltage regulator, and um, it's got a max maxim chip in it, a max uh, 6675 in there, and um, as I say, I'll open that up and uh, show you the circuit board I made. Uh, before, as I say, it was just a jumble of wires, uh, you know, it was, but now, it, now it's a lot tidier. And uh, I can take the front off and the circuit board out within a, a minute and have it, have it all in parts on the, on the, on the shelf. So it, it's quite easy to take apart and uh, reassemble now. Uh, right, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll do that video next and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.